Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and man oh man am I excited for this fight. I think it has a I'm gonna sneeze. I think it has a real big chance of being something very, very special. I think it's going to be intense. The press conference will be intense. I think the stare downs will be crazy. Um, the uh, the odds go like this, minus 330 for Colby Covington. Jorge Masvidal is a plus 260. Not that far apart from each other. Um, it's not a big one I would honestly would bet on unless you could think somebody could get a finish real early or this fight goes to the distance. I haven't checked the odds, but there might be some crazy odds for that. I don't think this fight goes five rounds. Um... I think this fight entirely is going to depend if it's exciting, if it's anything like this. I think it depends on how Kobe Covington fights this fight. I think if Kobe Covington decides to go in there and he wants to strike to prove a point against Jorge, I think that's a terrible, terrible decision. Terrible decision. Um, I, I, I think what Kobe Covington needs to do is go in there for the first two rounds, at least the first two rounds, and uh, take him down. Wrestle him, even if you're not getting it, push the pace, wrestle, use that cardio. Um, he has his cardio, but he tends not to do anything with it until later in the fight, which at that point, you don't have great cardio. You just don't do anything until later in the fight, and then you can push the pace because everybody else has outworked you for the first couple of times. Now you can push it because you haven't done nothing. Either way, I think Kobe Cousins and his game plan needs to go go in there, wrestle him, dirty boxing, clinch, knees, body shots, just work, 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 work for a couple rounds. Um, and then once it's probably the third, you know, half round, or half of the third into the fourth, you can start looking and striking with Jorge as he's getting tired, more tired. You can push the pace more. Just kind of fight him like you fought um, Robbie Lawler, like how you fought um, Eric... Um, Max Griffin, um, RDA, um, you know, those types of fights. Just do not go in there right away and expect to finish Masvidal quickly with strikes. Don't do that. Don't put yourself in that um, meathead mindset where you're going to just go in there, you're going to strike with them, try to get them out of there. Don't play Rock'em Sock'em Robots with Hori Masvidal. That's what Hori wants. Um, mix it up. That's what Usman did. Like Jorge did, he did not respect the power. He got caught. It never had happened before, and that's that. The thing Jorge has to do is, you know, defend your takedowns, separate when you can separate, and just throw your punches, throw your combinations. Try hurting Kobe Covington, because I think if Jorge can hurt uh, Kobe Covington and make him take more chances than he needs to or should, I think Jorge really can put away... Kobe Covington with one shot. Kobe cannot put Jorge away with one punch. It just can't happen. It never has happened ever in uh, uh, Kobe's fight. He's never done that. And, and same with Masvidal. You know, he got caught, you know, over and over. And then and then um, Usman caught him with that one punch. But Usman has power when he sat down on it. Masvidal wasn't expecting it. So that's why that had happened. And it's a punch that Jorge has been susceptible throughout his career. He's been dropped by it, and he was finished another time in uh, Pride or whatever it was in Japan by somebody else. But based, again, that same exact punch he's been caught with. It's just an opening that he that has been there. Again, I don't think Kobe Covington can has the one-punch power to do that to Jorge, but he could definitely... Uh, make him second guess himself but again you know fighting re least Jesus least resistance I mean the game plan has to be wrestle Jorge get him a little tired and then do what you want take some steam and stuff out of those punches otherwise you're just you're gonna get knocked out I mean that's that's honestly what what is gonna happen now my prediction is I don't think Jorge is going to be able to recover after the few rounds that Kobe T Kobe Covington goes in there and um, uh, works him. I think Covington goes in there, rustles him, beats him up for a little bit, controls the pace. That first round is going to be crazy. Um, 
It, it just is. It just is. And if the game plan for Covington is Russell, wear him out, grind, all those things, Covington wins this fight. But if he goes in there and Jorge pushes the pace and Covington wants to strike with him to prove a point when you shouldn't do that, uh, Masvidal knocks Covington out. And I think Jorge Masvidal finishes Colby Covington third round. Um, remember, Coving, uh, Masvidal is very good with head kicks. He's very good with his, his punches. Uh, he can be hit. Um, and if he expects you to wrestle, his wrestling defense should be pretty good. Um, and I think at some point, Covington is not going to be able to get that takedown. And that's when Jorge Masvidal is going to unload. I feel like it's going to be somewhere against that uh, that cage where Masvidal finishes Covington. And, yep, we see Jorge right back onto the saddle doing his thing. And as always, guys, please hit that thumbs up button as hard as you possibly can. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below on what you guys think is going to happen, who you have or the best that you're doing. And as always, guys, you know what it is.